Korean skincare first got popular because it seemed so. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been so a while. It's been so long since I filmed my last video, and I am so sorry for not filming videos as frequently as before. But that is why today I prepared the most frequently requested video. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the best Korean moisturizers. These are what I currently love and what I have loved. So yeah, let's get right down to it. So first, I'm going to start with this ampoule. This is Cosarex Propolis Ultra Light Ampoule. Uh, it was released last year and I first didn't even try out this ampoule because cause I was like if I want an ampoule that is like super ultra light then why? Then why on earth would I buy a propolis ampoule? And I first got to use this ampoule because one of my friends recommended this to me like a lot. I told him that I am not gonna try this out but he delivered one of this bottle to me and honestly I fell in love with this ampoule immediately this past summer it is just not as sticky as other propolis ampoules but still as powerful as other propolis skincare products and this ampoule is pretty watery so it doesn't like burden my skin at all it also contains a lot of hydrators as much as propolis extract so I believe that it properly hydrates my skin it was a simple skincare material for humid summer in Korea this past summer. And next is Secret First Cool Rose of Mastic IX Cream. I once filmed a video about Rose of Mastic Ampoule, which I loved a lot, which is not available in Korea anymore, so I can't buy that ampoule. But this cream from the same line got to be one of my best moisturizers. It contains diverse kinds of moisturizing ingredients that are not too dense or like not too rich so it moisturizes my, it moisturizes my skin so well but it is never too much for my skin and just like the ampoule from the same line i love uh, niacinamide is one of the main ingredients of this cream and i believe that this cream actually worked for my tanned skin and just like the name of this cream Mastic gum is in this cream, which is good for taking care of pores. Uh, pores are honestly what you have to take care about for a long time to see some progress. And using this cream might help you take care of your pores. And next is, again, Cosarex Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. This is basically a sleeping pack that you have to put on your skin before sleep. But I do use this overnight spa mask as moisturizer. Rice is one of the most popular brightening skincare ingredients in Korea and it does contain rice extract. Um, rice extract is the most contained ingredient of this sleeping pack and it also contains niacinamide so niacinamide will help the rice extract to brighten up your tanned skin. So for me, it is one of the brightening skincare products that actually worked for my tanned skin and blemishes and it is honestly super super affordable and you guys know that some of the brightening skincare products are so expensive and like overpriced so I think that if you have this overnight spa mask then you can also save some money you guys know that I don't adore the idea of using moisturizer as effective skincare method but this spa mask does both jobs so well uh, moisturizing and brightening so this is just very nice and if I have to pick just one downside of this spa mask for me then I guess I have to say this is kind of oily for my skin so I recommend this spa mask especially to someone who has dry type skin or who are under dry Mm, dry climate. And next is Roundlet Birchy Juice Moisturizing Cream. If you have subscribed me, then I guess you would have already tried this cream out, I think, because I talked about this cream for like five, six times until now. But this cream is just the best for oily, dehydrated Thai skin, seriously. If you haven't tried this cream out, then you are an idiot. And I don't want to talk more about this cream, so if you want to know more, then I guess here, yeah, you can just go check this video. It is like, this cream is the most basic thing 
I have to have in my skincare journey. You know, like when you treat your skin in the wrong way and there's some problem and trouble on your skin, then you have to go back to basic, right? And this cream is one of my yeah, essentials. Next is this Innisfree Blueberry Rebalancing Lotion. The biggest difference between lotions and creams is that lotions are usually more hydrating than creams and creams are usually more moisturizing than lotion. I love this lotion because this lotion definitely is more hydrating than like usual creams. You know there are just some occasions when you just want to like shorten your skincare routine and just go right into your bed so honestly sometimes i just keep the toner part of my face routine because i don't know sometimes i'm just too lazy and that is still okay with this lotion because it hydrates your skin as well and it does leave enough amount of oil on my skin too so it's just i love this lotion a lot. I recommended this lotion to lots of my friends who are men and they almost all of them got to love this lotion and they usually said like it was okay to just put this lotion solely on their skin. Yeah, I love this. It's cost effective, lightweight, doesn't leave residue on skin and yeah, I even love the citric scent of this lotion. And next is this Misha Calendula Page 5.5 soothing cream. This moisturizer is very lightweight. I believe that this is the most lightweight one in this whole video. The texture of this cream is very light and when you apply this on your skin then it feels like you are like smooshing some kind of watery jelly on your skin which means this cream is providing hydration on your skin and once it is absorbed into your skin then it leaves tiny bit of silicone based ingredients on your skin and that makes your skin pretty silky yeah i can say this is not so moisturizing but it was enough to blend my skin from like summer dryness in korea and i believe that i'm going to rebuy this next may or april and next i have this organic rosehip oil from aromatica so rosehip oil is one of the most famous non-comedogenic oil which means it won't clog your pores and if it doesn't clog your pores then it doesn't make acne happen but both features are um, not clogging pores and not that moisturizing um these features are what you can't like part away but i love this rosy oil because it works for my oily but dehydrated test skin so well and rosy oil can also help your skin recover itself and you know when you have pimples or acne in your skin then you have to focus on recovering your skin so i believe that this rosy oil is very good for acne prone type skin yeah it reduces acne and pimples on my skin overnight very easily seriously i'm not lying and next i have this neogen john day and night cream actually there is this uh, renewer version of this cream but i prefer this one because this is very travel friendly i know that this is pretty big like compared to my hand but still when you use this cream then you will realize how convenient using this cream is the day part of this cream keeps my skin from getting oily so i can keep my skin clean over the day and the night cream part is very relaxing at first the scent is very nice and second the night cream blocks my skin from dryness so well and also very travel friendly korean skincare first got popular because it seemed so fancy and the 10 step skincare routine seems so trustworthy and recently i kinda can feel that korean skincare is not as popular as before and i think that happened because people got to know what skincare ingredients are for and a lot of consumers became obsessed with high concentration skincare products like more and more i mean that is not so bad because that social vibe has changed it the whole skincare industry of korea and the world and honestly i was once obsessed with high concentration things but in my experiences high concentration is not always good and i still do love korean skincare a lot and i still want to show you guys more about korean skincare because korean skincare products are still 
very goal-oriented and the most importantly they are very very gentle most of Korean skincare products are not so high concentrated and some people would find that as downside but I don't think so um, after I have tried some high concentrated skincare products I again learned that it's just yeah this just crossed my mind that I'm taking care of my skin gently yeah gently that part of the sentence was the most important thing when I take care of my skin which means I shouldn't hurry I kinda talked about something that is not related to the theme of this video for pretty long but the bottom line is that all the creams and lotions that are introduced in this video are very nice or worth trying out yeah, that's all. I hope you guys like this video and as always, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and click subscribe button and 안녕! It's not for me to say you.